Hello again to all my impoverished friends. It is I, Poor Andy, the Dungeon Miser, back and ready for part three of the Ultra Cheap Undead Army build. If you watched the last two episodes, I decided to build an undead army using the Age of Sigmar Start Collecting Skeleton Horde box as inspiration. This box of 16 miniatures is priced at $75 to $90, but instead I am aiming for a full army that costs less than $20 table and terrain included. I was able to make three units of basic troops with leaders and three elite units for a little over seven dollars so I now have about thirteen dollars left to finish my army and what I need now are some war machines. I've had a suggestion to build some bone golems and they would make a nice addition to this force but there are already two very good tutorials for those out there and that I like a lot. I put a link to the critical crafting bone golem build and the bone scorpion build by the crafting brothers in the description if you want to add one or more of these golems to your undead army. But instead of a golem I'm doing something even easier. I picked up this triceratops fossil toy for cheap and as you can see the bony thing is all ready for the battlefield. It's about six inches long, it fits perfectly on a 50 millimeter base, and it will make a perfect tank to crush the enemy. I have a few options for how to field this guy, like adding a howdah full of troops or mounting a big ranged weapon, but I'm going to keep it simple and cheap and just put a skeleton mounted on his back as a driver. Mod Podge Prime and Paint, and here is the finished Fossil Rider. A ton of armor and hit points with a killer stampede attack will make this a real war machine. Uh, it will cost a lot of points to field this beast, but not a lot of cash. It was $1 for the fossil, 12 pennies for the skeleton, a penny for the base, and a penny for art supplies. So $1 and 14 pennies for my new tank. With my heavy duty combat machine finished, now I want some heavy duty firepower. I decided a catapult would be a fitting addition to this army. I want to build a mangonel type engine with a counterweight that heaves ghostly cursed missiles at my foes. So to build the frame, I'm going to use some novelty bones from my Halloween stash. Just a pair of L shapes made of the bones and coffee stirrers held in place with E6000. I'm also adding some of my melted pipe cleaner rope around the joints to make it look like it was hastily lashed together. The arm of the catapult is made from two bones fused together and braced with another coffee stirrer. Then I banded it with strips of card and covered those with rivets to simulate metal holding the bone together. And the ammunition bucket is just a bottle cap with some more rivets added around the sides. I'm going to add a counterweight to the arm and you can make that out of anything that looks suitably heavy. But I want to make a custom weight for this one because it's going to have that cursed power. I'm going to use the same technique I used to make the undead wall for my Halloween special to make the cursed weight. I made a box from some cheap Legos and molded the bottom with a tiny bit of the school clay. And then poured in some plaster and then after the dental plaster sets I have a perfect custom stone.
To give it some more support, I snipped up an old ID card to simulate some metal cladding. Punch some chunky rivets for the sides to make it look like a good slab of hotted metal. I glued the frame to a can lid and added some more wooden braces and rope. Then it's time to add the arm. And when that is secure, I can flock the base. Mod Podge Prime and Paint, and here is the finished Dragon Bone Catapult. As you can see, I added a couple of undead catapult crew members, but that is totally optional. If you want to do a similar catapult without the bones, or just a model for a different sort of army, you can use assorted craft sticks and other bits, and they would work just as well. Price is very good. It was 32 pennies for the bones, 32 pennies for the crew, a penny for the base, and 5 pennies for art supplies, so 70 pennies for a deadly long-range war machine. So now if we add the Fossil Rider for $1.14 and the Dragon Bone Catapult for 70 pennies, that brings this army of 35 miniatures to $9.39. Almost done, and I haven't even gone over half my budget. Join me for part 4 where I'll be adding the final miniature, the Vampire General, who raised this monstrous horde. You can't miss this one, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see the next project and all the great minis for pennies creations. And if you're loving this army, you can always buy me a coffee at the link below like these wonderful people. Thanks for your support, and don't forget that fun doesn't need to cost a fortune.